discuss about is the master cylinder. In this video we are going to discuss how it works, what are the components of this master cylinder and if you want to watch this video in Hindi, if you want to video in Hindi, I will share this video in Hindi, so let's start how it works. First of all the components, first of all this is the push rod, this is the rubber boot, for the prevention of the dust particles that will that may go inside, this is the rubber boot, for the prevention of the dust particles that, will, that may go inside that, uh, from that push rod inside this, this is some oil seal over here, and then the piston, then this is the spring and another push rod is connected from here to the another piston inside this master cylinder so nowadays this this type of master cylinder are commonly used and uh, uh, this this has two cylinder inside it so this piston uh, this push rod will be connected to the piston inside the another cylinder inside that single master cylinder uh, this is the fluid container brake fluid container and uh, this is the brake fluid inside it the brake fluid may come through this this is the port which will connect this master cylinder from this brake fluid and this is the port for the brake line these, these are the brake line and <coughs> this is the uh, this is the diagram i will uh, try to show you how the brake caliper works the complete functioning of the braking will be shown in this video so for the demonstration of that i just i am just using this diagram First of all, the about the functioning is that when you apply the force on the brake pedal and the perpendicular distance between the point from where the push rod is connected, the force into the perpendicular dis distance will be the force that will be transmitted from this push rod. Now, the F into L will be the force that will transmit through this push rod and then there is a piston, so the force will be applied on the piston from here. Now, the pressure will be created inside this fluid. Now the now due to this pressure inside this fluid, the fluid will try to escape from these brake lines. The fluid will travel from these brake lines to the caliper. So this is the diagram to show you a basic function of the caliper. The caliper, the caliper doesn't actually look like this. Fluid will come from, uh, uh, from the brake line to this. Now this pressurized brake fluid will exert some force on this caliper piston which will try to displace the brake pad. When the force is applied on the brake pad, this force will be applied on the disc and due to which the friction between the disc and this brake pad will create some resistance and then the speed of the tire will decrease. If you are designing the braking system of your vehicle, you must know the forces that are coming on each and every tire. For calculating the forces on each and every tire, you must watch my previous video that is about the weight transfer in which I have explained about the weight transfer how it takes place. Because at the time of braking, the weight transfer plays the major role in the forces that are coming on the wheel because the forces that are coming on the wheel lead you to the calculation of the power that is required by the caliper that must be applied on the wheel to stop that wheel so uh, the master cylinder must be able to produce that much amount of the power that can overcome the forces that are coming on the wheel so as to stop that wheel for calculating the power generated by this master cylinder we must do some calculations the area of the piston uh, inside this can be easily calculated because the diameter of this bore diameter of this master cylinder is given to you by the manufacturer. Now the area can be calculated. So the pressure will be equal to the force traveling through this push rod in upon the area of this. So the pressure pressure will be equal to force upon my area. Now the force applied on the pad because this pressurized fluid will be having pressure equal pressure at each and every point of this fluid. So the equal amount of the pressure will be here also so now the forces applied on the pad can be easily calculated because the fluid pressure into the area of the pad will be equal to the force applied on the pad now the power delivered by the pad will be equal to the force on the pad upon into the speed of the disc so this can be this will give you the power that is delivered by the pad to the disc now this power must be greater than the power that is inside the tire due to the motion of the vehicle then only the wheel can be retarded and stopped so thanks a lot guys for watching my video i think this is all about master cylinder if you still have any doubt and any queries you can feel free to ask me anything in the comment section below if you like this video please share it to your friends so that i can connect to them also if you didn't subscribe my channel please 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 subscribe it at this moment only please click on the subscribe button and please click on that bell sign so that you can get notified about each and every new video thanks a lot guys for watching my video keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys thanks a lot